Welcome back to Retail Reptiles. My name is Garrett Hartle, and if you're interested in investing in Superdorf retics in the year 2020, this video is for you. Actually, with all the math and teachy style stuff we're probably gonna cover, I might wanna bring back the old chalkboard. You guys remember that thing? Let's go make one real quick. Don't have a cow. Or actually, if you're interested in bringing financial success, have one. The only problem with this theory is that these are basically financial and from an availability standpoint, completely unattainable. This is the only super dwarf cow that is a male. Yes, he's already spoken for, I'm afraid. So how can you get in on this project if you haven't already? I'll tell you what, unless you have tens of thousands of dollars to drop immediately, the key to the game is gonna be for you to set yourself up for future success. Now, I think that a morph like this is going to have lasting market value for a number of reasons. First of all, it's a stunning, basically completely white snake with blue eyes that changes with every shed. You can probably see some of the little swirls and speckles just starting to come in on this guy that will continue to increase as he grows until he basically ends up looking like a Holstein cow that you see in the pictures. cow reticulated python is probably one of the most spectacular of morphs in any kind of python and in the new and reduced super dwarf size it becomes an animal that is easily attainable for just about any keeper now a cow is the visual combination of the phantom and the orange ghost stripe it's also basically completely unattainable in super dwarf bloodlines at least until this uh, young adult male starts breeding Phantom, on the other hand, works as an incomplete dominant gene and is available today. Now, aside from bloodlines, different combos, you really have two options when you're shopping for a phantom. You can get a male or you can get a female. Now, if we're staying with super dwarfs, for example, the males you're going to have, um, they're going to start around 1350 bucks. Females, on the other hand, this late in the season, my smallest price on a female is actually $4,000. He's got snatched up pretty quick, so somebody's already paying attention to what a good investment would be. Now, if you guys watch our videos, you know a lot of times I recommend starting with a female when you're getting into a project because they take so long to grow up before they can breed. Anyone that bought a female this year has probably about a four year wait before they can breed her. However, let's say you have a little bit more modest budget and you want to really stock up for when cow production is hot and heavy. See that orange ghost stripe that I showed, those are still a five figure snake. That means over $10,000 each. Now those females are gonna be ready in about four years, and I think the people who bought those females are gonna be banking on the fact that hopefully enough Superdorf orange ghost stripes will be able to be produced that that price might come down to, let's say the $5,000 range, and they can buy a male for their female, and they're into the project for about $10,000 total between their Superdorf female phantom and a Superdorf orange ghost stripe that actually doesn't exist yet. So it's a bit of a bit of a gamble, but I think it's a pretty safe gamble if you can make cows, especially when you can breed that orange ghost stripe to that phantom female and get 50% cows in the clutch. If cows at that point are selling for, I don't know, let's play worst case scenario and say they're $2,000. I don't think they're going to be a lot less than that because Superdorf albinos have been around for 20 years. And they're still about that price. So if they're selling for $2,000 by the time they would make one, in about four years from now and they've got ten thousand dollars invested 
and they get, let's say, 20 eggs, so they get 10 of them at $2,000. They made a cool double profit on their investment. Great investment, and congratulations to you if you're way ahead of this video and you already have your Superdorf Phantom female. Now for the rest of us, let's say we have a little bit more modest budget and we want to get in on this action. Now it does have a prerequisite. This is considering that you already have some kind of a Superdorf female. It doesn't have to be a pure, as long as it's a good small bloodline, because you want to make quality animals, obviously, and you're not going to buy some leftover thing or some classified special or anything like that. But let's say you have a Poshet Snow female or a Tiger Superdorf female or a Platinum Superdorf female, anything that's 50% or higher, and let's say that they're a year and a half old by now. Let's keep these numbers over here from the side. So you went in with about $10,000, and obviously this is not counting any raising costs, feed costs, or any of that that would eat out of your profit, and you got out of it $20,000 in the end for a cool profit of 10 grand. Okay, that's with your female. What can you do with this male? Hey everybody, I hope you're enjoying this video. Yes. I wanted to take a moment and just tell you about how much we love each other here at Reach Out Reptiles. You kiss me, it's over. <laughs> There's a lot of love and unity going on in this room. I don't know if you can feel it. We, we're all matchy-matchy with our retro shirts today. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And the reason why is because Rob and I had a little altercation. <laughs> altercation? A little altercation. I wasn't altered in any way. <laughs> <laughs> I got pretty close. There were birds flying in the room. But anyways, you guys would know this if you were a part of our Patreon community. We do a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff. It's super cool. So Rob and I's fight, we were, we were fighting, and Jessica actually grabbed the camera and just started recording us and everything like that. So some of those behind-the-scenes things are, are stuff you can look forward to on Patreon. Another perk at some of the tiers on Patreon there is that we actually sit down and do videos, talk about the genetics behind each of these animals. And it, it really gives Patreon I, uh, supporters, I think, an opportunity to know more about the bloodlines and the animals that we have available. Snatch them up pretty quick. Yeah, see how so, we fight. Yeah, there's all that kind of cool stuff. Or you can actually rock even more swag because we do certain items at certain intervals at cost for our Patreon supporters. So check it all out. Patreon.com slash reach out reptiles and see what's all good about Smash that. Smash that like button. There's no like button on <laughs> Patreon. Hit the heart. Double tap the heart. There's no heart. That's Instagram. <laughs> you know what? This is the problem with you. <laughs> this is... <laughs> ah! Alright, so here's your phantom male. Now remember, this is incomplete dominant. Half of everything he produces is also going to be a phantom. And if you do want to make cows, you need to have some phantoms. While orange ghost stripes are basically completely unattainable at this point, I think a great investment would be to breed this guy. Let's say you have two little Superdor females. Again, they can be literally any morph because that phantom male is going to throw 50%. So if you had a pure Superdorf, you could make really high percentage Superdorf phantoms. Or if you had a Superdorf albino, you could make Superdorf head albinos, whatever it is. But in doing those two breedings, only about 18 months to 24 months from now, you should be able to breed and get half clutch of phantoms off of two females. Let's again assume a 20 egg clutch. That's fairly average for a smaller bloodline cross superdor female that's going to give you 10 phantoms in each clutch now only half of those are going to be females but you would be able to rather than paying pretty big money for a phantom this year female and growing her up just about two years from now give or take a little bit you should be able to come up with 10 phantom females for the cost of this plus whatever the cost of those females were although that cost doesn't really reflect in the totality of the project because you're going to use those females to go on and do other things with year after year after year now if you kept the 10 females i'm going to assume you sold the 10 males if they were even 500 dollars each that means you recouped about five thousand dollars which is basically double what you spent on your mail would probably cover the cost of those females already so that means two years in, as this person is shopping to invest their second 5K, you are completely in the black on your project. You've paid off every animal and you're sitting on 10 phantom females 
just two years behind. So now these females need to grow up and we start counting the years in. Let's say they go four years before they can breed. This person over here buys themselves a super dwarf, orange ghost stripe, breeds them together and they can make the super dwarf cows. Now they're gonna sell theirs probably for a lot more money than you would be able to sell yours at if you're waiting over here, but not a whole lot more. You see the first market drop, if that little super dwarf cow I just showed you is in the five figures, you're probably dropping to, I don't know, maybe the $5,000 range. This is a complete estimate because markets fluctuate, it changes, depends on who makes what, but they're gonna have a little bit of a drop and they might be able to sell their cows at about $5,000 each. At this point, you've already paid yourself off and year after year after year, while these girls grow, you're gonna continue. You could either, either use your male phantom to your two females over and over again and make five to $10,000 per clutch year after year after year. If you bank just a percentage of that, and remember, always take your sig significant other to Tahiti with the rest of the money so they fully support emotional your decision to have so many snakes in your basement or wherever it is that you keep them. But you're gonna bank that money and when these people produce themselves a super dwarf cow, you can just go ahead and buy one. You're using snake money produced year after year after year to buy yourself one. Plus, if you ever make like a really fantastic looking phantom in here, go ahead and keep yourself back another female. It's one of the advantages to have a breeder. You get all the holdbacks for yourself. Now you buy your cow, let's say in the second year in, and he grows up these two years, this male, and you're gonna run your cow male to your phantom females. When you do this, you're actually gonna make 25% Superdorf cows, 25% Superdorf super phantoms, 25% Superdorf phantoms, and 25% Superdorf het orange ghost stripe in every single clutch. A lot of these animals are gonna be a whole, worth a whole lot more money. Who knows, super phantoms might be worth more than cows, depending on the market, because they don't even exist today. But without all of the profit here, if we just look at five cows at an estimated $2,000 times 10, you're talking about 50 cows times $2,000 that's a $100,000 year with 25% of your clutch alone. Now, as the late great Forrest Fanning used to say, it's kind of silly to invest in more being a calculator cowboy running all these numbers, guessing what they're going to be and assuming that you have the skills to pay the bills and convert those animals into cash. However, we are talking about super dwarf cows, probably one of the most bucket list species, a reticulated python, and the most bucket list morphs, the cow, in a super dwarf size that a growing and expanding market just can't get enough of in 2020. I think in about six years from now, being able to make six figures a year on these animals alone seems like a pretty good investment. And even if it doesn't pan out to be that $100,000 a year with this alone, maybe it's two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year by the time you calculate all of it what you need to look at is that just two years later after this person is able to put 10 grand in and pull 20 grand out um, and they will be able to do that for two additional years they'll have made sixty thousand total your number your imaginary number comparing imaginary apples to imaginary apples is two hundred fifty thousand dollars a year that makes the humble Super Dwarf Phantom Male 2020's best investment that you could possibly buy if you've already done your homework and you've gotten a couple of Super Dwarf females in your past. They really only need to be about a year to two years old now. And that means if that's you, a great time to strike while the iron is hot is right now. Mm -hmm.